Hello everybody. We greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible says that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I would like to read a scripture from the book of Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 and 7. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known unto God and the peace of God which passes all understanding shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus that's important the scripture is very important for us to understand praying the prayer according to God's will is understanding what his will is where the will of the lord is unknown our prayers are not prayed in faith it's just prayed just to be saying certain things just tell the heathens keep praying over and over again long prayers let's understand prayer means it has to be the will of god for our lives what has the lord purposed what is the will of god for your life prayer is not religion or being religious just to be praying that god would just look down upon you and say oh you're a good person because you prayed well but we need to pray scripturally let me take you to another scripture from the book of 1 john and uh, 1 john chapter 1 uh, chapter 5 and verse 14 1 john chapter 5 and verse 14 and this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will he heareth us yes verse 14 tells us very clearly this is the confidence that we have or the boldness in our prayer or being too confident that god will surely answer my prayer that's what it simply means amen it's praying in faith praying understanding god hears my prayer and it says here that if we ask anything according to his will what is his will his will his word and his promises they are all one amen his will his word and his promises Amen. let's make prayer so easy instead of complicating it to the extent where we think oh my god have i got to pray about this what am i going to pray prayer means speaking god's language using his vocabulary not our way of saying oh god i don't know what's going to happen to my life oh my god i now that's not prayer that's being careful and the bible very clearly t- tells us be careful for nothing your prayer is disqualified when you pray being so careful oh my god what am i going to do now now i understand when you go through a situation in my, in your life now i'm human as much as you are human but we are also children of the most high god we are connected to the source of life where we we draw out from the source not from a resource a resource is something that has already been provided from the source and we when the resource runs dry and we go back to the resource and try to find a means of having our comfort or meeting our needs from the resource when the resource is no longer able to help us even at a time like this today that we are facing but if we are connected to the source that makes a difference amen that's why we got to be careful for nothing amen i mean that seems to be oh be careful for nothing like when people say take care i always turn around and say i don't take care because i'm careful for nothing amen you know it's a nice phrase but when you come to the scriptures you put that put that phrase with the scriptures it doesn't go right it doesn't hold any water there that's right that's the reason we got to be understanding praying the prayer of faith understanding god's will first this is the confidence that we have 
in him that if he ask anything according to his will that's written in the scriptures and his promises that's the most important thing that's the reason we could go to the scriptures and find the promises concerning our lives because we are born again children of god we we have been we have been born into the family of god we have been we we have been drawn by his love and we have received him as our lord and savior and we have become children of the most high god we are in the family of god as the scriptures say to those who believe in him they receive him and believe in his name they become sons, sons of god so we are sons of god we ought to know what the father's will is yes. what does the father require of us and what is his will concerning our lives you know the word says all the promises let's go to that scripture from the book of second corinthians chapter number 1 and verse number 20 Let's not pray prayers in a in a in a manner that we portray unbelief. Let's pray prayers believing God, who is a loving God, who con- who is concerned about us and who wants to meet our needs. Not only meet our needs, he wants to meet our wants as much as he wants to meet our needs. Oh somebody might say oh god doesn't want to he he just concerned only about the essentials in life everything is essential in life if it is according to god's will my god shall supply all your needs as the scripture says in philippians 4:19 and that word needs there also means your wants he supply he in fact he also goes to he also says i will give you the desires of your heart Let me take you to that scripture first before we come to this. Let's go to the book of uh, Psalms. The book of Psalms 140. And uh, how does it go? Let's read it just like what the scripture says. In Psalm 145. Psalm 145. See, we get into a area of fear. and we find it so difficult to pray the prayer of faith or we we find it so difficult to approach our father god who is so loving to us right let's go to the book of psalm 145 and we'll read from verse number 14 the lord upholdeth all that fall and raises up all those that be bowed down okay the lord upholdeth all that fall have you fallen thank god you are reassured today that he shall uphold you and he shall raise those that that have been bowed down are you depressed are you afraid of what's going to happen tomorrow how are we going to put things together people have been affected through this viral flu but then the ones who are not affected directly but indirectly they have been affected how am i going to meet my needs how can i get things in order this is the word for you this is the word for you the lord is talking to you he is talking to you he is going to raise those who have been bowed down you're depressed you're anxious about tomorrow you're anxious about how long will this current situation take place to come back to normalcy are we going to get into a, a real crisis situation after this no friends that's not what the bible says that's not what the word of god says believe and you shall you shall 
believe the bible says you shall be saved and that word saved there means you shall have your needs met he's your healer he's the one who promotes you and prospers you remember what the devil always means things for bad god turns it around for our good he did everything that he could to jesus put him up on the cross and thought everything now belongs to me because jesus said i and the father are one so he thought the best is if i got god nailed on the cross i got heaven i got the earth too and i got hell too no that's not what happened really jesus destroyed the one who had the power of Amen. death Amen. and that's the devil you got to make up your mind keep your focus on the lord and say god i'm believing in you today amen i'm not going to be anxious i'm not going to be careful because i know my god is going to meet all my needs he upholds us and he raises us up verse number 15 the eyes of all wait upon thee and thou givest them their meat in due season oh god i thank you i'm excited when i read these scriptures Our eyes are waiting upon the Lord. Our eyes all every one of them their eyes wait upon the Lord. Oh God, I thank you, Father. I I thank you. We look unto you, Lord. Our eyes are focused on you. Amen. Not on the country's economy, not on the not even the world's economy, because those are all resources. we got to be plugged to the source if we have disconnected ourselves from the source of every living thing said we are going to be worried how things are going to come to pass i wonder how it's going to work out well everything is going to work out right amen stop being anxious stop being careful let's go back to the bible we have heard too much about what's happening around faith comes by hearing fear comes by hearing to jesus said take heed to what you hear it shall be measured to you according to what you hear so if you've been hearing a little bit of faith and a lot of fear that's the exact measurement of what you're going to have let's put our trust in the lord this day or night or sometime during the day you're watching put your trust in the lord right he raises us up verse number 16 thou openest thy hand and satisfies the desires of every living thing every living thing you open your hand and satisfies not just barely let us have satisfaction is different to having something oh let me just have a little bit lord at least he said i'm going to put you to the place you're going to be so full of it as you thank you lord mm-hmm. i'm satisfied i'm satisfied lord you're a good god who satisfies he opens his hands and he satisfies the desire of every living thing mm-hmm. are you a living thing you are because you're able to hear Jesus spoke to the living ones he said he said the thief comes to kill steal and destroy but i have come he was speaking to the living ones he was not going to the graveyard and talking to the dead ones he said but i have come to give you life a super abundant life that you are leading Amen. that's the reason we got to receive Jesus lord of our lives and when you have received Jesus lord of your life you're not going to be careful no more you're going to be carefree if i'm going to, if i'm not going to be careful about my needs who is going to care about me that's why jesus said in fact the scriptures tell us be careful for nothing be careful for nothing but in everything with thanksgiving let your request be made known unto him be careful for nothing nothing absolutely nothing oh that's unreasonable yeah when we read the bible 
we try to understand with our puny mind and that's the reason we fail we got to understand with a broad heart and say lord i'm going to enlarge my heart as paul says we enlarge our hearts and we have enlarged our mouths and we have spoken to you now you enlarge that's what he said to the corinthians because they were so narrow minded we got to enlarge we got to say god you satisfy every living thing i am a living person you are a living person yes. moreover you are a covenant child of the most high god amen put your trust in the lord and you will never fail in life he opens his hands and he satisfies every desire every he satisfies the desire of every living thing thank god for his word we trust in the lord let's put our trust in the lord let me take you to the scripture that i first now when we read the scriptures we got to understand we are reading the promises of god and whom were the promises made to as new covenant saints of the most high god as children of god as sons and daughters of our heavenly father whom were the promises made to let's look we go to the book of second corinthians chapter 1 and we'll read from verse 19 and 20 19 gives us an example and 20 tells us what it is or let's read from verse number 18 onwards second corinthians second corinthians chapter 1 second corinthians chapter 1 and verse 18 onwards but as god is true our word towards you was not yea and nay right let's put to this let's let's come to the scripture let's put the scripture in order the writer to the corinthian church no it's not to the corinthian church only it's written to the saints in corinthians so you may be a saint in any part of the world today he's talking to the saints right he's talking to the saints he's talking to the brethren he's talking to to every believer he's talking to every believer right so what does it say here it says but god is true he's true he's not a liar he's true he's truthful he's faithful Amen. that's what it simply means there but god is true our word towards you was not yea and nay we didn't just tell you yes but god meets your need but he may not also god will supply your need but you see times are bad he didn't say yes and no that creates confusion in the minds of the people as the scripture says a double minded man should think that he shall not receive anything from the lord he shall not receive anything from the lord but he he says the word because god is true and our word that we receive from the truthful god is ye not ye and nay or it's not yes and no we read the next verse For the son of God Jesus Christ who was preached among you by us even by me and Silvanus and Timotheus was not yea and nay but in him was yea in him was yes there is no buts and and uh, I wonder if God can meet at this season it's yes it's a definite yes yes Every word of God is power packed. Every word of God is fulfilling. Every word of God is designed to bring our needs together and wipe it out by supplying all his need, all, all by by his supply. He says, "Okay, whatever you have, bring everything. What what are all your needs? Bring your prayers." He says, "Be careful for nothing, but in prayer let your requests be made known unto him." or supplication the word supplication there means be specific bring everything to me he's able to understand and answer our prayers he's not just going to say yes and no he's going to say yes right and the next verse says verse number 20 that's what i want to get at but before that i came to 18 because i want to show you how how i, I don't take a scripture out of context we're not taking anything out of context we're just taking it as it is in the scriptures and we're not we're taking a a a couple of scriptures together so that we could put things together okay read 
for all the promises of God in him are yea and in him amen unto the glory of God by us all the promises of God all the promises of God in him where are you you are in him you are in Christ Jesus so if you're in Christ Jesus it says all the promises all the promises from the book of genesis to the book of revelations right from the book of genesis to the book of revelation oh those are the book the old covenant was for the jews only only the new covenant we had no that's not true all the promises were made to jesus christ he is our savior he is the son of man he is the lamb of god every promise was made to jesus christ every promise was made to jesus christ oh i thought I thought we got to differentiate these are for the Jews and this. no the middle wall of partition was broken down by the crucifixion of Jesus Christ Amen. so there is no there is no uh, Jew nor Greek nor Gentile we are one new man in Christ Jesus one new man in Christ Jesus let's not complicate let's come to the place where we are family with God God is not our enemy He's our father. Amen. And he's able to supply all our needs according to his riches in glory. And I would like to pray with you and we would like to encourage you with some scriptures and you will also be able to pray. And uh, if you have never received Jesus the Lord of your life and you say I see some good things that the Bible talks about every good thing is for those who believe in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus said ask when you come to the father ask in my name that your joy may be full ask in my name and he will give it to you he will give it to you when you ask in my name so how do i how do i use his name how do i come to the place where i understand jesus christ is lord you believe with your heart that jesus is lord and confess with your mouth and you also believe that god raised jesus christ from the dead and you believe in the finished work of the cross by saying yes i believe that my sins were paid in full he eradicated the sin nature out of me and made me a child of god you receive him as your lord and savior let's understand the scriptures and uh, will help you out to pray accordingly let me let's make these confessions let's say i will not be anxious i will not be anxious or worry about anything or worry about anything but in everything but in everything by prayer and by, supplication by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving with thanksgiving i will let my requests i will let my requests be made known be made known unto god unto god and the peace of god and the peace of god which surpasses which surpasses all understanding all understanding will guard my heart will guard my heart and mind and mind through christ jesus through christ jesus i cast all my cares i cast all my care and anxiety and anxiety upon the lord upon the lord for he cares for me for he cares for me i will not be afraid i will not be afraid of bad news of bad news for my heart for my heart is fixed is fixed trusting in the lord trusting in the lord my heart is established my heart is established i shall not be afraid 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 for the terror by night for the terror by night no for the arrow no for the arrow that flies by day that flies by day no for the pestilence no for the pestilence that walks in darkness that walks in darkness no for the destruction no for the destruction that waits at noon day that waits at noon day god you said God you said fear not fear not for I am with you for I am with you be not dismayed be not dismayed for I am your god for I am your god I will strengthen you I will strengthen you yes yes I will help you I will help you yes yes I will uphold you I will uphold you with the right hand with the right hand of my righteousness of my righteousness thank you lord thank you lord for helping us this for day for helping us this day we cast all those cares we, are, we cast all those cares upon you upon you 
and we know as we set our minds upon you and as we set our minds upon you you will keep our minds in perfect peace you will keep our minds in perfect peace you are the prince of peace you are the prince of peace in jesus name in jesus name amen amen